<clears throat> Hello everyone, I'm once again back in Lisbon with Christmas and New Year's Eve right around the corner, which brings us to this yearly review proposed by Nunu. After looking back and doing plenty of thinking on my academic accomplishments for this past 12 months, I came to the sudden realization that I had no idea what or even how to present this to you. So after drawing this perfect tree to set up the mood, I realized I had spent all my time admiring it, so I quickly scrambled a list of achievements and things done that I will now showcase in a chronological order. So, following the article submitted for the SPE proceedings back in 2020, I had just prepared the initial ideas for a follow-up paper on the impacts of misclassification of patients. I was also included in some parallel projects to my PhD, working with RNA-seq data from rheumatoid arthritis patients, I spent some time learning how to work with Cybersort and Bioconductor to analyze and study if we could find ways to differentiate these patients based on markers for different immune cell subtypes. And based on what I've learned, I was able to apply similar analysis to MECFS data and extend the study by applying compositional data analysis methods with multiple results, but none of them very enlightening. While still doing CDA, I also worked with Francisco and Nunu on a project relating MECFS and steroid hormones. I got the chance to learn more about possible methods for stratification of patients, particularly how to use hormones to discern between genders and ages, clustering methods and linear discriminant analysis. Moreover, by this time, our paper on S2 and MECFS was submitted, being posted on MedArchive by the end of March. After revisions, the ACE2 paper was resubmitted, and during this period, I got the opportunity to talk about my work since the beginning of my PhD and explain the ideas on misclassification applied to MECFS patients at the 14th CAMEL PhD meeting in IMM, and discuss said ideas with other PhD colleagues at the IMM PISA seminar. Halfway through the year, I got married to Dida and got to take a break from work with this wonderful woman. When I came back in July, I continued working on the hormone dataset and the misclassification paper for a while, having some days off as vacations, and this was the period when I produced the least amount of work. Coming back from the summer break was challenging. I think it was when the saturation and overload of working from home started to show an effect. The work on misclassification stretched for even longer than expected, and the idea of flying off to Poland now started to make a little bit more sense. Also. Both our labs reduced the number of lab meetings by, that, by this time, which might have helped for projects to derail a little bit. However, during this time I had my PhD thesis committee, which helped to bring another light to the project and served to get new ideas and renew objectives. And I started attending introductory immunology classes at FMO. Also, after much back and forward, the ACE2 paper got published in August at Elian. And with this, I entered the last stretch of the year motivated to learn and study more. I attended and presented my work at the 25th SPE conference and afterwards said goodbye to my lovely wife and house and moved to Warsaw to work at the faculty. With the new routine, things gain momentum and work has been advancing. Despite missing home dearly, I'm happy with the work produced in the past months and feel that having a supervisor close by makes a tremendous difference when it comes to getting consistent results and weekly reports. I'm still finishing up the misclassification paper, although not for long. I finally got my hands on MECFS data from the UK Biobank, and so hopefully I'll start to go into other parts of the project uh, for my PhD. I want to make a note to Nunu and Andrea for making me feel welcome during my stay. The cold and lack of sun have been harsh, but you and the mini team have been uh, keeping my spirit up and motivated. So professional-wise, I feel that this year was a bit lacking when it comes to show a final product. Some of the projects were placed on hold uh, as more important things arise. This was also a clear example of how productivity can peak early in the year and when it does, it becomes harder to continue pushing at the same pace while being alone at home most of the time due to the pandemic. Nonetheless, and even though I could have pushed for more work, the future seems bright. I still feel that I have developed as a student, I am progressing, I'm happy, and I have no issues with how things are at the moment. I like my supervisors, I feel heard, and I think I'm now more apt to have better discussions on a multitude of topics, ranging from football to science and our research fields. 
to finish up, I'm still motivated, more now than last year, I'd say, so I'm eager for 2022. Hopefully, it will stay that way and I will still be able to share these sport drawings with you on our lab meetings. Thank you.